2023 BMW M4 CSL First Drive Review, Light It Up. BMW says M is the most powerful letter in the world, but the addition of the letter CSL makes it both more powerful and lighter too. That basically sums up the M4 CSL, which cranks performance and removes weight to increase driver engagement. Simple concept, but this lightweight suffix comes heavily laden with responsibility. Originally meaning coupe sport light bar, or lightweight, and officially competition sport lightweight in today's genre fluid times, CSL first appeared on the 3.0 CSL Batmobile launched soon after BMW M was founded 50 years ago. The CSL won the 1973 European Touring Car Championship and laid the groundwork for the M road cars we know today, but BMW has dusted off the CSL suffix only once since, and that was for the 2003 E46 M3 CSL now revered as one of the best M cars of all time, if never sold in the US. So the pressure to deliver on only its third outing in half a century is immense. Good news, though, because while production is capped at 1,000 units, this new two-seat CSL is coming stateside, and we're happy to report it does indeed live up to the storied badge. Exterior Design, Visually Challenged Let's not get too ahead of ourselves with the good news stuff, because it's still a stretch to call the M4 either attractive or classy, especially when viewed alongside its predecessors. It does, however, exude purpose. Perhaps most striking are LED laser light headlights with yellow accents that echo the GT racing cars, plus there are new rear lights, aero flicks on the front splitter, a new ducktail rear spoiler, and a carbon fiber rear diffuser, all of it topped off by a new design of alloys and a slightly lower stance. BMW M50 years badges are standard, replacing the standard blue and white emblems, red accents are a little, other, Batmobile, and there's a choice of frozen Brooklyn gray metallic, optional, with alpine white or black sapphire standard. Black still works better IMHO, helping tone down that toothy front grille. Weight saving, unleash the light bar. BMW's playbook states that a CSL must weigh substantially less than the car it's based on. By how much nobody is exactly sure, but it's interesting that BMW used the slightly anonymous GTS moniker for the previous two hardcore M3-M4 models, which were 165 pounds and 10 pounds lighter, respectively. The M4 CSL officially drops 240 pounds at a US curb weight of 3,640 pounds, which is more than the GTS models and just 3 pounds less than what was cut from the E46 M3 CSL, though the M4 CSL saving represents a smaller slice of a larger pie since it's a much heavier car overall. Nonetheless, 240 pounds remains a significant and impressive amount to extract from a modern car, especially with climate control and the full BMW Live Cockpit infotainment system on board, a sensible decision, especially given 85% of E46 M3 CSL owners added comparable equipment back in. To break that figure down, a carbon fiber hood and trunk join the carbon fiber roof that's already standard on the M4, and together with a few other bits of carbon, save 24 pounds. The titanium exhaust silencer saves 9 pounds. Carbon ceramic brakes are an option on the standard M4, but standard here, plus the CSL gets bespoke lightweight springs and struts and new lightweight alloys, saving 46 pounds. Inside, new carbon seats are 53 pounds lighter, our test car featured electrically adjusted carbon shelled seats normally optional on other M4S, saving 21 pounds, and the rear seats are removed, saving a further 46 pounds. BMW says lightweight sound insulation accounts for 33 pounds. There's some chipping away at the kidney grills, you can see the radiator is much more exposed, the climate control and floor mats, and even the rear lights are, well, lighter, giving the final 8-pound push over the finish line. Performance and handling, faster, sharper. Performance and chassis revisions complement the reduced weight. The M4's S58 3.0-liter twin-turbo 6 is boosted by 40 horsepower to 543 horsepower at the same 6,250 rpm peak, with torque unchanged from the M4 competition at 479 lbft from 2,750 rpm. An 8-speed auto is standard interesting given the manual is lighter, but perhaps quick shifts at the Nürburgring are the priority, but the CSL is rear-wheel drive only. Added up. 
and you get 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and 191 mph flat out. The chassis is 8 mm lower with new helper springs front and rear, adaptive dampers are standard, plus there are uprated anti-roll bars, stiffer engine mounts, a bespoke cast aluminum strut brace, and a solidly mounted rear axle for extra precision. While tire sizes are unchanged, a Monster 275 section for the 19-inch front tires and 285 20s for the rear, you can spec your CSL on super-aggressive Michelin Cup 2 rupees. Factory driver Jord Weidinger pulled a 7 minutes 20.2 seconds Nürburgring lap on the same rubber, but the car we sampled was shot on Pilot Sport for S tires that are less effective in the dry but way better in the wet. There's no talk of downforce in the press material, despite the aero flicks at the front and the ducktail slash diffuser at the rear, but clearly, they add some positive squish into the surface. At the wheel, hardcore done right. For a car intent on tearing tenths of seconds to shreds, the M4 CSL is impressively easy around town, the suspension feels tight yet supple in its softest setting, the steering twirls easily and you sit comfortably in leather seats with climate control, sat in AV and stereo all at your fingertips. Despite extra road noise, I'd happily daily an M4 CSL, suffice to say it'd be wasted on a typical commute. The titanium exhaust gives the CSL an angrier if tinnier bark from outside, though thankfully it sounds fuller bodied when you're plugged into the low set carbon bucket seat. The 3.0 liter turbocharged motor remains a wonder of extraordinary bandwidth, performance, and throttle controllability, with, if anything, heightened response. It does have a charmless, bassy drone in the mid range, but reaching for the high notes is a fury of speed and intense, fast paced noise that proves far more entertaining. Additional performance slash weight saving is apparent, but despite unchanged torque, the CSL feels substantially more muscular in the mid-range than even the standard model, itself pretty stout. That's no doubt because of the reduced weight, but on more challenging roads, it does have the unfortunate effect of giving the CSL a big-chested turbo diesel vibe a sensation that performance is running away with itself and that short shifting through gear ratios rather than extending the engine to its impressive 7200 rpm redline is what's required here. Straighter roads showcase the stretch of this engine, but the emphasis on short shifting through turns does dock a point from driver engagement. There are no claims for more intense or faster gear shifts, but they seem to hit harder, perhaps there has been some recalibration to really prove an auto can deputize for a dual clutch, or perhaps it's the stiffer engine mounts and solidly mounted rear axle. Either way, I found myself winding back from the third and most aggressive shift setting, which thumps pretty abruptly. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.